Ah, bonjour mon ami, Nigel Sondar is here, it is springtime in Paris, but not here. Here in Canada, it's full winter time. Oh my goodness, what a change in the weather. It has turned cold, below freezing, and lots of snow. Today, I'm going to be repotting my French lilac. I'm also going to be repotting, I think this is a sugar maple. I got it from one of the club meetings. It was a giveaway. And then I have another maple tree here that's starting to leaf out. I'm not sure what kind of maple it is, but I'll repot it and get it underway as a bonsai also. So a busy day here in the bonsai zone. Here is a look at my French lilac. I last repotted this two years ago and I did quite a severe root pruning to it to the point where I wasn't quite sure if it was going to survive or not, but it did, it grew really well. So today I'm going to repot it once again and further refine the root system on the tree. Here is a look at the base of the tree. It's developing quite nicely. It's getting some flare at the root base here. So I'll show you some uh, shots of when I last repotted it two years ago. And once I get this bare rooted, we can compare the root system it has now to what it was when I last repotted it. You never know what the root base is going to be like on some of these nursery trees. You don't know how deeply the tree is planted in the pot. You don't know if it's, you know, if there's ugly grafts or anything. It's kind of a bit of a gamble. So I'm just starting on the bottom now, trying to kind of comb out the uh, middle of the root mass here. Most of the roots kind of grew on the outside kind of on the outside of the pot, not too much in the interior here, which is good. It'll make it a lot easier root pruning to get that root base flat on the bottom. So lilacs, they, they grow roots pretty easily. Um, it's pretty easy to propagate them from cuttings. So that usually means you can do quite a reduction in the root mass and the tree will still survive and live no problems. Now I noticed that the roots haven't actively started growing. So these are the roots, all these roots are from last year's growth. So that's good, it's good timing. The buds are just starting to break. Perfect time for repotting a tree. Here's a look at the root system all washed up. So I'm gonna start the pruning. There's a root here that sticks up, curves around, kind of uh, arches over. Uh, that's, I want all my roots to flow from the trunk down into the soil. I don't want them lifting up like that, so that's going to be pruned off like that. Yeah, that root starts way back here. It's a thick one that goes down, must have hit the bottom of the pot, and then it circles all the way around here. So a terrible root and has to come off. So I'm going to prune that away using my Greenwood bonsai pruners. So I'm just going to prune it off flush here. It's tough. There we go. And that should all come off now. There it is. Look at that root. Holy. Okay. So I'm not left with a whole lot, but I am left with nice flare, which is very important. And as I said, these lilacs, they like to grow roots. So. so let's just do a little pruning of some of these longer ones, like that. And I think you know, I can prune some of these dead ones back here. So my root base is pretty flat on the bottom. That's looking good. There's another root up here I can prune off. getting some of that moss off. And as 
a dead root here I can prune off. And I think that's it. I'll rewash it. And that is my root system, which is pretty meager right now, but it's all looking good. So a lot of root taken off today. There's my root base. I took a lot of roots off, but sometimes, you know, the more roots you take off, the higher risk there is of the tree dying. But sometimes, like in this case, if the tree lives, the reward is worth it because you'll get the nice, a start of a nice root system, a nice compact radial root system for the tree. And yeah, I, I mean, sometimes you've just got to take chances. Uh, I haven't had much time into this tree yet. It's its first root pruning. So, you know, if the tree were to die, well, I haven't lost a whole lot of work, just some upper pruning, some top pruning and some root pruning. It's not like, you know, 10 years down the road, then I do this to the roots. So it's better to get everything sorted out initially, taking a bit of a gamble or a chance. And if it lives, then you've got something special. If it doesn't live, well, you try again. We are back to present day time now. I'm going to get the tree out of the pot, bare root it, and compare that root system. Hopefully it won't be quite as severe as that initial root pruning. Usually it's not. Usually there's nice radial roots that have developed and it's just a matter of refining into the future. So let's get the tree out of the pot now. Just loosen it up. Get the tree out. Wow. So lots of roots in the pot. Wow. Yes, it's uh, done quite well in the last two years. So I'll begin raking out the soil from the root base, getting rid of all these weeds in the process. I can't believe it's been two years since I last repotted this tree. It seems like just yesterday I was doing this. Time sure flies. There's the drainage screen. So lots of good fine roots in here. I'm happy with the root system so far. It's looking really good. So I haven't had this tree flower yet since I did that initial repotting. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, when it does flower, it will eventually. It's just a matter of, you know, having good strength on the tree, keeping those flower buds alive during the winter. So it has a lot of buds on the top of the tree and I'm not sure if those are leaf buds. They could be flower buds also, I'm not sure. Something I'll find out as I grow this tree into the future. Now I can't wash the root base today because Everything outside is frozen, but I can rinse it off with the watering can once I get all the soil out. And then I can come in and look at the roots and do the root pruning. Okay, I think that's you now pretty close to bare rooting. So I will uh, clean up and then we'll come back and begin the root pruning. So I'll give the roots a rinse kind of wash them out a bit anyway and keep them moist while I'm working on them. Okay. And I'll do a little more raking to get some of this soil away from the surface roots. Yeah, this root system's looking really good. I'm happy with the result of that initial pruning. And today I'll make the root system even better. Okay, I think I can begin the root pruning now. I've got all that soil removed. I can see what's going on with the roots. Okay, I'm going to begin the root pruning now. So my first root, I noticed there's one coming out really high from the trunk here. I'm going to prune that away like that. There's another one here that's too high and it's too horizontal. It doesn't flow down into the soil so that one can go. There's a bit of decomposed bark here, 
I'm just going to peel that away. You can see there's a bit of a scar. I pruned off a branch here. I think I pruned that and then it kind of died back down and now it's healing over that that wound in the trunk. It'll give the trunk some nice character in the future. There's a root here. You can see it's too horizontal. It doesn't flow down into the soil so that can come off. one sticking up here that can also go there's one sticking up here I can prune away now this root here you can see here's the radial direction and it's cranked way over it doesn't look very good so I'm going to prune that one away it's a fairly thick root A lot of root with it that came off but it'll help the root base in the future to flow down into the soil nicely now there's some roots here I think this one again this one's too horizontal and it's a bit high so I'm going to prune this one away a little one there and this one You can see how it flows down into the soil now. These two can go. This one goes at a funny angle. Now I've got some bumps here where I removed some roots in the past, so I need to clean those up to make them a little more flush. So I'll come in with my conical cutters and just clean them up a bit. I think that's good. I don't want to make too big a scar there. There's a root here sticking up. It's too horizontal. I'll prune that away. Root going a funny direction there. This one's sticking up too high. And I'm wondering if the one above it, this one's too high. It's a, it's a little horizontal. It doesn't really flow down into the soil very nicely. So I'm going to prune that one away also. There's some coming off here that aren't very radial. I'm going to remove those. So those are gone. I think I'll take that whole bump off there. There's one sticking up there. Sticking up here. Here's the remains of a fairly large root that I pruned in the past. And I think that can come off now. It's just too thick. So I'm going to cut it back. The rest are fairly well balanced. I'll do a little more raking here. come in and do a profile prune to the roots. So you can see some of the roots on this side are longer than the ones on this side. I'll just prune that one root off there. So I'll do a profile prune here. Again, trying to balance the vigor of the roots around the tree. So they're all sort of the same vigor. And that gives you a good symmetrical top to the tree usually. Okay, 
So next, I'm going to come underneath and prune away some of the roots that are growing down. So I'll just clean up first. All right, I'm coming underneath the tree now. Sticking down there. Just prune it off flat on the bottom. So that is looking pretty good. I'm uh, very, very happy with this root base. I think it's developed really, really nicely. So I've got a good root plane. The roots are all fine and radial. There's no thick roots showing. And I'm getting nice flare at the base of the tree. So yeah, it's developing really nicely. So let's get the tree potted up now. I think the French lilac deserves a better pot than this plastic pot. So I'm going to look around and see if I can find a nice pot to plant the tree in. I was looking around trying to find kind of a nice delicate pot for this tree, but I don't have the perfect pot. So I'm going to put it in this one. It's a ceramic pot. It's a little heavy looking, but I think it'll do as a training pot until I find kind of the perfect pot for it as it develops into the future. I've got a drainage screen in the bottom of the pot, so I'll fill it up partway with soil. That doesn't make sense. I'll fill it partway with soil. Okay, and then I'll get the tree out and plant it. And I've got to get the height in the pot. So I want just part of that flare of the root base showing. I think right about there is pretty good. Yep, that'll do there. So I can fill it in with soil now. And I'll work that soil into the roots. Just making sure I've got no air pockets. And that has got the French lilac repotted. So I'll give the tree a water now. All right, here I go with the water. I'll rotate the tree around now so you can see it from all angles. That has got my French lilac repotted spring in Paris. 2024. The next tree I'll be repotting is, I believe it's a sugar maple, and it's just in nursery soil. So I'll do some root pruning, get it in bonsai soil, and get it underway on its journey to becoming a bonsai. A common question I get asked is when do you begin training a tree grown from a seed? When do you do the first bonsai training to it? And a lot depends on what you envision the tree to be. If you want to grow it into a big tree, well, don't, don't prune the tree, just let it grow. But the earlier you start the root work on the tree, the better the root system will be as the tree gets older. So I recommend starting the root work the first year after the tree is germinated, getting rid of the tap root, starting to develop that radial root system. And then once you get those surface roots kind of in place, then is the time to grow the tree rapidly and large because those surface roots will just keep getting better. If you don't touch the tree and you just let it grow, you'll get a horrible root system in the pot. It'll be all twisted and gnarled. And it'll take a lot of kind of severe root work to get that root system developed 
into a nice radial root system. So yeah, I recommend you begin the root work early and the top of the tree depends on how large you want to grow the tree. I'll begin the work on this tree. I'll get it out of the pot and I'll start raking out the soil from the roots and we'll see what we have in here. If this has never been touched as a seedling, I expect you know, a fairly large twisty taproot on the tree. And sometimes, you know, the first year or the first root pruning, you can't remove that taproot entirely. There may not be enough radial surface roots to support the tree, so you just have to cut it in half, do it in stages, so then the next repotting you can remove the taproot entirely and eventually you'll get a really nice root base on your tree. So this tree is growing in pretty good soil. There's like organic soil and perlite in here. And I believe this tree was from Jason of the KW Club. He always brings in little seedlings and gives them away to people. And I don't know, I ended up bringing this one home. It uh, somehow made it into my car. So you can see that big tap root that's developed there. And it looks like maybe it has been pruned once, I'm not sure. I'll see if there's a cut on it. No, I don't think so. I think I think it's just hit the bottom of the pot and started subdividing. I don't see any pruning marks on the roots. So I think it's just you know, grown this way right from seed. So you can see if I just let that grow, I would have had roots all over the place and they would have thickened up and been quite difficult to manage in the future. So it's good to, you know, start the root pruning when the tree's young. Now, the younger you start the root pruning, the more risk there is to the tree. And they're not that strong when they're young seedlings like this, but this has enough roots on it that I can do some root work and get it underway. Okay, so it's bare rooted now. Let's clean up and come back and do the root pruning. All right, here is the root system. So I'm looking at the trunk. It comes down, it increases in thickness to about here, and then it starts diminishing. So I'm going to make my first cut just below the thickest part of the root right here like that so you can see I've got the start of a root system here there's only so much you can do with the first root pruning but you know that's a big step removing that tap root there's a couple of roots that are too high here I'll take those off like that and then there's a thick root over here. I'm going to reduce it back to there. I'll cut off these long roots here. And that's about all I can do for the first root pruning. Well, there's a few hairs up here I can take off, root hairs. Yeah, I can't do too much at this stage. So what I have to do is plant it now and let these roots grow and just keep refining them into the future. So I'll get the tree potted up now. I've got these plastic training pots that Tom sent me. You can buy these online. They're fairly inexpensive and they're good for starting trees and seedlings in. Has a built-in drainage screen. So I'll get some soil in the pot and plant the tree. So here I go. I'll just hold the tree and put the soil in around it. And that is pretty well planted. I'll just have to top up the soil a bit, make sure my tree is vertical. Yeah, a little more soil. And that is planted. The first initial root pruning is done. And I'll give it a water. All right, here I go. 
that's all the work I'll be doing on this little seedling. An initial root prune, removing that tap root to get it underway as a bonsai. The last tree I'll be potting up today is this maple. I have no idea what kind of maple it is. I think it's a native maple, but I'm not sure. So I don't even know if it's been potted up once before and root pruned or if it's just a volunteer seedling that grew in this pot. So let's get it out of the pot and see what the root system looks like. All right, let's see what's going on with this tree. I just collect a lot of seeds. If I see a maple that has beautiful fall colors, I'll collect the keys off of it and plant it. And, you know, maybe someday it'll grow into a really nice tree with spectacular fall colors. It's easy to ignore these little seedlings and just forget about them and let them grow in pots. But it's good to take care of them, get the roots pruned. Every time you root prune them, the root system gets better and better. And as I said, if you ignore them, the root system gets worse and worse with age. So, yeah, it's not the most exciting thing, you know, repotting these seedlings, but it's an important part of developing a bonsai from a seed, is regular root pruning. And if you care about the tree, you'll end up with a nice tree in the future. If you don't care about the little seedling, well, it'll just grow worse and worse and you'll never get a really good quality bonsai out of it. It takes work to get a, a good quality bonsai. Root work, pruning work on the top of the tree. Good care of it so it grows nicely in the summer. I'm sure everyone who grows bonsai has some neglected trees where they've just kind of let them grow in pots and they haven't been repotted very frequently. It's easy to just forget about these little seedlings. And uh, But if you want to grow them into a nice bonsai, you've got to do the work on them regularly. So I'm seeing a fairly good root system so far with this tree. There's some good stuff happening. So it's possible it's been root pruned once before. I'm just trying to find if there's a drainage screen down here. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Lots of roots, that's for sure. I'll have to cut them. There. So that's got the drainage screen removed. And I can continue combing out the roots. Oh, here comes the sun. Isn't that nice? Makes this cold day just a little bit better. So it is going to warm up the weather. Uh, next Tuesday we have a high of 17, which is getting into the tropical weather. So I may have to get out some tropical trees and do some pruning work to them. At the moment it's too cold. I don't want to bring them outside and work on them out here. So I would say this tree has definitely been root pruned once before. because it doesn't have a big tap root. And it's got a lot of fine kind of radial roots. So this probably represents, you know, what that sugar maple will look like the next time I go to repot it. It'll have a root system, something like this. And as I said, you just keep working on them, refining them, and eventually you get a really, really good root system on these trees. Okay, so that's bare rooted. I'll clean up and we'll come in and do the root pruning. All right, I'm ready to begin the root pruning. So I'm looking at the root system. You can see the trunk comes down and it flares out. So there's a good, you know, that would be a good root plane right here. 
which would make this root too high. So I'll remove that. Uh, this root's too high, so I'll get rid of that one. Just cleaning it up a bit. This root's too high. Get rid of that. This root's too high. That's gone, and this one's too high. So already I've taken a lot of roots off, but I've got you know a fairly good root plane down below here. I will have to prune this one back. It's going down too far. This one, prune that one back. This one starts to go in a funny direction, so I'll prune it off short. Like that. Then, this one's getting too long. Prune it off. This one too. This one's going down too far. So are these ones. So I'll just trim it off flat on the bottom. Like that. So you can see I'm starting to get my root plane and my root base in order. A bit sparse on this side, but you know something will grow there in the future. There's kind of a strange root here that does start on this side and then it kind of goes a funny direction. So I'll prune it off shorter. Hopefully I'll get some new roots growing in a radial direction. Prune this one off. It's crossing. This one goes a funny direction. This one's sticking up. This one's sticking up. Yeah, that's getting down. To the basics. I think that's it. I think that's got you know a root plane established. There's some good roots that's a little meager in some areas but it's a good start for the tree. So I'll get it potted up now. So again I'll use one of these plastic training pots that Tom sent me. I'll set the tree at about the right height and start filling it in with soil. So a fairly severe root prune on this tree, but you know the tree's young. If I were to lose this tree, I wouldn't, I wouldn't cry. It would be sad, but uh, it wouldn't be the end of the world. So when the tree's young like this and you haven't got a lot of work into it, if you do this, you know, severe root pruning, it gets that root system underway. And if the tree lives, you'll be glad you did it. And if it doesn't, well, next time you try again, and eventually you'll have success. So that tree is planted. I'll get it watered. All right, here I go with the water. Today I got three trees root pruned and repotted. And if you take away anything from this video, it's care for your trees. Uh, do the root pruning, do the top pruning, take good care of them, and you'll watch them slowly grow over the years into something quite nice. That is all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.